Glocks on me like the Navy, ayy Love that game, won't make it, ayy I pull up, right, they sprayin', ayy What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video and another episode of God Talk you already know it's the podcast and YouTube channel, um, YouTube video that I be posted on my YouTube channel. It's your host, Mr. Out of Pocket. If you guys are listening on Spotify and you didn't know I had a YouTube channel, please find me on YouTube at Mr. Out of Pocket. You already know what it is. Um, and if you're watching me on YouTube and you didn't know I had a podcast, I'm going to make sure that I copy that link and send it to you guys so that you guys can listen to me. If you were driving on the street, out on the roads or whatever, and you want to hear my voice in the background, or you want to hear the topics that we're talking about, um, you can go ahead and find me on Spotify, Mr. Out of Pocket as well. Um, so you already know what's going on. I, I know it's, a, it's been a while. I apologize, you guys. I like to, um, I try to stay consistent, but as y'all know, every time I'm out of here, I'm taking care of my mental health and that's just what it's going to be from now. Um, so, you know, I took care of my mental health and I'm gonna leave it at that. I ain't gonna try to, you know, do too much excusing or nothing like that. Thank you guys again for tuning into another episode. Um, this is God Talk episode number three. This will be the um, second God Talk that'll be posted on Spotify, but it'll be the third God Talk that's posted on YouTube. I know that might get a little confusing, but hey, it is what it is. That's where we at now. Um, so I appreciate you guys for being on my back, always making sure that I'm staying on top of my stuff. And that I'm actually trying to make sure that I stay consistent with these things. Life happens. And hey, here we are now. I appreciate you guys for tuning back in. And that's just so what boom. If you've never, ever seen an episode of God Talk, I encourage you to go back and watch the other two episodes of God Talk that I posted before this one. And then you can come on to this third one and, and do your thing and listen to where we at now. But basically how it goes is basically we have topics that are brought in from different guys and girls that they just want to kind of see from a guy's point of view and have that thing discussed. Um, so it'll be different point of views from guys. It'll be different point of views from, you know, from me, myself. Um, and then the questions usually come from other women. I usually post a poll on my Instagram. Um, all social medias make sure you guys follow me um, at L-I-L-R-O-D-B that's all social medias you can find me on Instagram you can find me on Twitter um, I do have a secondary Twitter account you can follow me on Twitter at uh, L-U-H-R-O-D-B you can follow either the Lil Robbie or the Lil Robbie whichever one <laughs> it doesn't matter to me um, I'm active on both so you can follow me on both if you want to but I typically post a poll on my Instagram and um, I basically post it on there for ladies to be able to go and ask questions that they really want to hear um, the answers to you know answers from guys basically what that what their thought processes are and you know I usually do like a little um, anonymous kind of thing so that we don't know who you know we won't people who watch won't know who asked what and the people who watch won't know who answered what I'll be the liaison for that um, until I get into my future episodes where I do plan on having um, special guests here and there um, I was supposed to have some special guests of course in this episode I know in the last episode I did say that I was just I was gonna do that but things just didn't work out and again like I say man that's life so we're gonna move on so of course in out-of-pocket fashion you already know what we got to do if you are in this part of the video or at this part of the podcast and you ain't got no liquor in your hand you definitely are not a fan I'm gonna just keep it like that you already know what we got going on you got to start off with a shot before we get anything started on here um this shit here is called some vodka if you're not looking at me right now you listening on spotify i'm gonna just let you know right now this shit nasty as a motherfucker and if you on youtube dog you're nasty as a motherfucker too i ain't gonna go a lot because this shit here just some uh -uh, i can't um i brought my little shit from uh pineapple willis my little shot cup my little shot glass pineapple willis shout out pineapple willis i had fun there last time i went um so go ahead and pour yourself up a shot i'll wait don't worry i'll wait I didn't bet you should have a shot in your hand by now. You already said, know what I'm saying. Here you go. Cheers to everybody that's listening and watching. Boom. So if you took your shot already, let's go. We can get into it. Like I said, we're going to get into it today. We can catch up later on another time. I might do a vlog later on so you guys can kind of catch up to where I've been. So the first question the young lady asked, she said, what's up with all the guys nowadays being so sassy? <laughs> that, that's a good question. Um, and I think it has to be answered in a couple of different ways, but it really, we need to, I feel like we need to differentiate what it means to be a sassy dude or how it is to be what I consider like an emotionally intelligent dude. Like, and y'all know, I, women, y'all, whoever listening to this, like, come on, just bear with me. Like, for real, I feel like. I feel like there are sassy niggas out here. Like, yeah, there definitely are sassy niggas out here where you look and you be like, that was real gay, my nigga. Cut that out. But like, it's just, I don't know. It's I feel like it's a difference because it's just like, like what makes you say a dude is sassy? Like it's certain things. It's like, it's certain manu you know, mannerisms and, and things like that, that, that definitely could make you say that a dude is sassy. But like, what really makes a dude sassy? You know what I mean? 
like to you and ladies while i'm asking these questions y'all can go ahead and pause and answer those to, you know what i'm saying so that i can kind of get some feedback or whatever but i feel like y'all call dude sassy for like small stuff like oh oh uh he mad at me he blocked me he's sassy no he not sassy shorty he's standing on business that's all it is that's just real shit like when y'all get mad y'all block us or fuck we can't block y'all what's that oh that tip for tat shit sassy no it's not that's just life that's just life. That's just how it is. You do somebody dirty, you expecting them to do you good back? No, hell no. That ain't how life works. You know what I mean? You you go slap somebody in the middle of the street, you don't expect them to slap you back? Come on now. I'm the type of nigga stand on Benny, nigga. One man arm against 50, nigga. What you wanna do that? I stand on Benny, nigga. What you do? I feel like that's where I say I feel like a lot of it does come with kind of like how everybody views what sassy is and all of that kind of stuff. I'm not the blocking type. I'm real. I'm be real. I'm not. I'm not into the blocking. But that don't make me not sassy. I don't think I'm sassy. But I'm just saying. I don't. I don't think me not blocking women or not blocking you because I'm mad at you makes me not sassy. That's just not what I do. I'm cool with it. I rather. I ain't. Gonna, I'm not saying I rather. But <laughs> it sounds toxic saying that shit. But like, honestly, I'll ignore you before I block you. Like you could text me thirty times in a row. And I'm not gonna respond back just cause like you know you didn't piss me off. And that's just what it is. You got to deal with that shit as it comes. And that's just how I do it. Um, but like like I said, I want to go back to touching on the the emotional intelligence part. The reason why I say sometimes it depends on emotional intelligence is because I feel like I feel like sometimes ladies, y'all don't like to be dealt the same hand that you play out. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like if a woman coming to you as your as 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 your girlfriend and she tell you, hey, look, hey, I don't like how you do this. I don't like, you know, this, that, and the third, yada, yada, yada. You, you expect it to change it. And it's just, that it. That's it. P point, period, point blank. That shit is cut and dry. She says she don't like it. You got to stop. And then if you flip the roles, you reverse that motherfucker. And you say, hey, you know, baby, I don't, I don't like when you do this, this, and the third, yada, yada, yada. Not saying all women do this, but there are a lot of women that would be like, yo, you being controlling. You trying to you trying to take over my life. Who are you? You not this. You not da, da. And it's like, yo, what? So then when a nigga just be like, all right, bet. You know what I mean? Like, I I, I don't know. It's, I don't know what it, I, I feel that's, it's kind of hard to explain because it's like, then we'll start acting a certain way. And then y'all be like, oh, he being sassy. He, he think he, he, he think he act like a girl. He act like this and the third. Like, what am I, what are we supposed to do? Shut the fuck up. Like, I just told you I don't like something and you still doing it. Like, how you expect me to act? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I get it, everybody has their own definitions of where, you know, you should you should be like a man, but how, how are you as a woman going to define what a man is? You know what I'm saying? I feel like that shit is like, and that's a touchy subject. I know that's that me saying it, it comes off as real wrong, but the people who watch me, they know where I'm coming from. I'm not coming off no disrespectful shit. I'm not coming off no sexist shit, none of that. I'm coming off of being real with you. I'm out of pocket, this is what I do. Every day, I'm going to be in your face and I'm going to let you know if you're wrong, you're wrong, you're right, you're right. That's just the bottom line. So as a woman, how can you define what a man should do? If you think your man shouldn't do that, then you go find you a man that do that does that. Or that does how... If you think your man shouldn't do that, go find you a man that doesn't do that. And stop... You don't have to bash all the other niggas that do. That don't make them sassy. They just... They just... They want to stand on business. If they say they don't like something, hey baby, I don't like when you did that. I don't like when you wear that. Cool. A nigga should be able to express that to you without it being a problem. And that ties into a topic we talked about last week. Well, not last week. I said last week like I'm that damn consistent. <laughs> that ties into another topic that we talked about in the last video where a lady asked and she asked why do you know guys not feel um, comfortable like expressing themselves. And it's like, that's why. You know what I'm saying? Because when we express ourselves in certain ways, you know, you, you throw that shit back in our face sometimes and, and then it just feels like we not even being heard and we we spending more time arguing with y'all about how what we said to you made you feel and not even discussing what I just said. We talking about I'm telling you, oh I don't like this, and you like, well, I don't like the way that you said it. We we talking about two different things now, right now. Like I, we, we need to focus on what I just said. I just said I don't like this thing. Let's talk about that. Let's break that down first, and then we can go back and have a separate conversation about that. The way that you, hey, I would have wanted you to word that better to me. Okay, cool. We can have that conversation, but let's separate them instead of trying to. You know what I mean? Like y'all, I, I don't know. And not and again, don't take this as me saying all women do this because all women don't. And guys, realize that there are women out here that are able to effectively communicate with y'all. And that's, that ties into to question number two. Question number two to the day, a young lady said, 
how what would I say give some hints basically to a woman that wants to effectively communicate with another with a man and um honestly it's a two-way street dog like guys I know the way society has been against us from the damn jump all the way up until now has just been kind of like fuck you fuck your feelings fuck off with all of that shit like nigga just 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 be there be a man and like but but what is a man you know what i'm saying like everybody like i just it's so easy to tell a man hey don't worry about this don't worry about your feelings don't worry about this then the third man go out here get you a job get you get your you know get get your education get you know get you a good career uh find you a wife get kids settle down and that's it like that's that's it Nobody, when you when you growing up, nobody tells you, hey, man, uh, you have the right to feel something. You have the right to say that you don't like something. You have the right to say, hey, this makes me feel a certain kind of way. You have a right to cry. You have a right to all these different things that makes you human. It's like they dehumanize us as a young kid. And that's not all. Not every man has been through that, but there are, I can t I can attest to the fact that there's a lot of men that have gone through that because I done been through that shit my goddamn self. And it's not so much that like your parents do it purposefully. It's just society. Like society literally don't be giving fuck about men at all. And and women, y'all have to see that not only that society does that, but a part of society is women too. So sometimes y'all add to that sometimes you're a catalyst to a man feeling like that so sometimes you gotta look like and it may be hard because not a lot of people like to do an internal reflection like looking at yourself in the mirror and being like you know am i the problem but sometimes as a woman you may have to sit down and be like am i doing something wrong am i not and if you saying that you're not ask that same question to that man ask him hey do i provide a safe space for you to be able to freely express yourself to me ask him and like i was saying in the first like, like i was saying in um the answer to the first question about the emotional in intelligence it's about if, if there's an emotionally intelligent man he will be able to tell you the answer to that question genuinely and let you know that listen hey you may not provide that you know that safe space for me or maybe you do and then you know y'all can go from there but when it comes to me saying like what's the best way to communicate with a man the best way to communicate with a man is to listen and to listen for substance don't listen for oh he's he's raising his voice oh he's you know what i mean and i'm not saying that men have to do that to express themselves but if this is something that somebody is new to if you teaching a baby how to walk and they start off crawling you're not screaming at the baby for crawling you like good job you crawling great job you crawling because i remember when you couldn't crawl you know what i mean you you give him so so you got it you got it if you want to be able to effectively communicate with your man you got to take the baby steps ain't nobody asking you to raise a man you don't have to his mom and his daddy should have did that but at the end of the day if you want to be with that man you understand that there's things that he has to work with you too about that you don't even know and it's shit that you do know but you don't do you give him credit for that is what i'm asking like do you give him credit for the shit that he has to hold your hand on and if you feel like you do ask him Ask him, do you? And see what he says. And then when he says it, don't get upset. Now, you have every right to get upset about what he says. You have every right to get upset about what he says. But this, this, is, this is where it gets confusing. Because you can be upset, but you don't have to be upset at what he said. Like, if he gave you a genuine answer and he feels like that you didn't, that you, you know what I mean? Like, that you don't do, like, if you say, hey, do I create that safe space, right? And your man looks at you and he says, no. I don't think you create that safe space for me. Off rip, you're gonna get defensive. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I, I, no. You can be mad. Just just set it to the side for a sec and ask him why. Ask him what makes you feel like I don't create that safe space for you. What can I do in order to make you feel that safe space has been created? And you ask those questions. And then you get those answers and y'all work it out. And again, like I said, these are for the emotionally intelligent intelligent men and men that know how to actually discuss their emotions. Now, the ones that don't, that's, that's a different story. Some of them either just genuinely don't want to, genuinely don't know how to. 
stuff like that, you know. But I, I'm speaking specific. Uh, I'm speaking specifically. Look, the damn look at getting to me already. Hold on. Um, I played in specifically about the men that know how to control their emotions and they know how to portray it verbally so that you can understand it. So when you go to him and you ask him, hey, do you feel like I'm creating this safe space? And he look you in your face and he say, nah, I'm be real, you really don't. I know when he, when he say that, it's gonna hurt your feelings. I know when he say that, it's gonna make you feel like you wanna cry. It's gonna make you feel like, oh, you saying I'm an ain't shit ass bitch, oh, I, I ain't been doing nothing for you this whole time. That ain't what he said. He answered the question you asked him. He gave you an answer. You don't have to like his answer. But you have to respect his answer because he didn't just say that for no reason. You know what I'm saying? And this goes vice versa too. Like I want this is a this is God talk. So I'm going to always give the, uh, the 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 ideas and the way that the the perspective of a guy. I'm always going to give that. But I want y'all to know this is a this is a podcast for everybody. So this shit work. It's a two way street. Because fellas, you got to start asking your woman that too. You got to start asking those questions. And these are conversations that you got to start having in order for y'all to be able to communicate effectively. If I can't communicate effectively with you, I can't be with you. That's just some real shit. And that's on both sides. So ladies, like I said, y'all got to start asking these questions. And you know the kind of nigga you with. You understand the traumas that he's been through in his life. Majority of, majority of them or some of them or whatever he's been able to express with you so far. So you kind of, that's y'all be getting in relationships with people that y'all don't know. And I think, that's where a lot of the miscommunication comes from but when you really with somebody that you motherfucking know you can get that you can sit down and have a conversation with them and they'll ask you hey baby um do i create this safe space and then they can be like nah i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you you really don't and then you can ask well why he can tell you well x y and z you like, okay you know what i understand that what can i do in order to create them safe spaces and then he can say okay bet here go a b and c do these three things that'll help make me feel more comfortable so then i can start coming to you with different things and then i know when i come to you i'm not coming to you and having to walk on eggshells with my feelings no nigga on earth likes doing that no person on earth likes doing that but i'm just speaking from nigga, a nigga standpoint no man wants to sit and hear hey tell me about how you feel and then when i start telling you about how i feel I gotta, hmm, let me let me word this correctly so she don't get pissed off or she don't get sad. And not, like, if we, I feel like that comes with creating a safe space. Like, I get it. Everybody's saying, or everybody's gonna think, well, there's certain ways, like, you, I'm, I'm supposed to know my man, so he should know that he can talk to me a certain way and then I'll receive what he's saying. I think. I think we need to throw that thought process out the window when we're discussing feelings. Other stuff, like if you asking him about, hey, um, uh, the bill was due, did you pay it? And he like, hell yeah, I paid it. Fuck, I told you, don't stop asking me. Like, okay, now that's 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 tripping. You know what I mean? Like that's that's now he could have said, yeah, no, I, you know, I paid it. I told you, you ain't gotta ask me. I got a handle, baby, and it's simple, smooth as it's smooth as butter, just like that. But when we talking about somebody's feelings, how are you? making me filter my feelings to you and you want to hear like i i can't give you my full feelings if i gotta filter them and that's why i'm missed out of pocket i'm not filtering shit i love it on some real shit if i have to filter my feelings when i talk to you just because i know that when i say something it might make you sad or might make you upset what men do naturally we adapt so if we were taught from the beginning to express our feelings, then we would have been expressing our feelings our entire lives. But we weren't taught that at the beginning. And then when we got older, they start calling us uh, fucking goddamn, I forgot the word I was just looking, I was looking for, that's that liquor again. But they start calling us names and start labeling us things because we weren't able to express our feelings. And it's just like, okay, yo, well y'all was just beating us with a stick, basically telling us to not say shit about our goddamn feelings. And then when we stop saying shit about our feelings, y'all saying that we ain't shit, not the kind of nigga I want, not the kind of nigga I'd marry. So then we said, okay, bet, let's switch. Let's start saying our feelings. Then we start saying our feelings, and now it's, oh, niggas is sassy and all of that kind of stuff. All like, like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Niggas can't win. And fellas, I do have to say this. 
some of that whole sassy culture and all of that, like when women be dogging niggas out, talking about how we, we complain too much and all of that shit, some of that shit is just for social media. I'm not gonna lie. Some of that shit is just because it's funny. Like it's just because other people say it and now it's funny, like like funny to laugh at, funny to poke fun at, like aha, you sassy, all of that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there are women out there that take that shit and they really think it. Like they genuinely feel that in their heart. Like, yeah, you you this, you that, stop talking to me, you talk too much, this and the third. And if that's the kind of woman you with, I promise you, you'll figure it out. And when you do, you got a, a decision to make. You either gonna stay and fuck with it or you're gonna get the fuck on. And and that's just that simple. Like, you don't have to stay with nobody that you don't wanna be with. I don't give a fuck what kind of situation you in. You don't have to stay. So your happiness, it comes first before all that. And I'm talking to men and women. So it's just at this point, like everybody just needs to to be fucking real and be upfront with each other and let each other know like, hey, this is how I'm feeling. And this is why I feel the way that I feel. And it's just going to be like that. And that's it. You can have that conversation. And that's that to answer that question. That's how I would say to to open up or to create that safe space or communicate with your man is just by listening and listen for the context. Listen for the content and not to react. Don't listen and then he says something in the tone and you're like, oh, suddenly he got a whole 20 minute rant left about how he feel and you checked out on the first five because he said something that you didn't, you didn't like. Listen to the whole 25, 30 minute rant, however long it is for the nigga. And listen to listen to the context. If you need to, pull out your phone and take notes. And make sure you let him know that you're taking notes, though. Cause don't cause don't sit there and look like you texting on that nigga. I promise you'll never hear a word out there. Nigga, my forget. <laughs> Y'all got to, bro, take out your phone, take out a notepad, write down, take notes on points that you want to revisit later on. So that way you don't have to say, oh baby, I'm gonna stop you right there. I just wanted to talk. No, 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 no. If you ask me that question, I'm going to give you the answer. I'm going to give it to you raw. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you the answer. And you just need to shut the fuck up. And I know that sounds like real bad or whatever, but that's just the real. It, women can say it to us too. Listen, I want to talk to this. I want to say this. You just, I just need you to shut the fuck up. It's just simple. And I know, it, like I said, I know shut the fuck up sounds bad, but y'all know that's just how I talk. Like, no, dead ass. Just shut the fuck up and let me talk. Let me get through it. If you want to say something, write a note down and write whatever you need to say. And then that way it won't you won't forget it. You won't never forget it because it's sitting right there on that goddamn paper. It's right there in that notepad or you text it in your phone or whatever. And you can go ahead and say what you got to say after that. Like, I, I, that's, I think that's the, the best way that I could say to do that so that everybody feels like they've expressed themselves fully. You know what I mean? So, I hope y'all know every time that you hear any kind of any kind of pop or anything that's a shot y'all should be taking a shot like honestly every time i cuss y'all should be taking a shot if i'm being if i'm gonna keep it a buck come on you guys know i was just kidding right hell yeah shot o'clock and boom so we're gonna go ahead and move on from that it's third question. We might as well take another shot. I know I just made y'all take a shot, but I mean, it's the third question. You should be taking a shot per question. You should be taking a shot per answer. You should be taking a shot per cuss words. Yeah. You already know the fuck going on. This is Mr. Out of Pocket channel. Hey, time out. Y'all already knew what y'all signed up for when y'all came here. Come on now. But anyways, third question comes from another young lady. She basically is saying, I'm going to summarize what she's saying. She says, why is it does it seem like male friendships last longer than lady friendships? And honestly, I would be interested to see the woman's side of that or the woman's answer to that. And I definitely have an answer and I'm gonna get into it after this shot. Y'all take one with me too. Another one. Another one. This is what I think. And I could be completely wrong, but this is what I think. When it, when it comes down to male friendships, first of all, our friendships, I feel like are more straightforward and like, it ain't no funny shit. It ain't no behind the scenes shit. It's just straight up, we friends, we met at XYZ party. This nigga was cool as shit. I sparked the wood, he was sparking the wood. We passed that bit to each other or some some random shit. 
some random shit just made our friendship. And after that, we cool as hell. I see this nigga all the time. We dab each other up type shit. Fuck around, go to a cake bag together. Fuck around, go to the goddamn bowling alley together type shit. Like, male friendships. You know what I'm saying? Like, some regular ass, regular degla ass shit. And honestly, the reason that I think male friendships... I wouldn't even say that they last longer. Some, I, I guess they would, but... Not nah, in, in, in some cases, they do last longer. But I think they're just less stressful. Because we don't... Males don't put their feelings into the friendship. Like, I don't come to my male friends with my feelings about something. Like, unless I need... Like, if I really need to talk about something, about my feelings, then we can have that sit down and talk. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, y'all boys. I feel such and such, such and such, such and such. And they be like, all right, bet. This is what we think. Yada, yada, yada. Cool, cool, cool. And then we can go back to it. Ladies, y'all place too much fucking y'all y'all place too much emotion into y'all for to y'all friendships where it's like you're in a relationship with your friends like i just i just don't i don't get it and i know it's i'm because i'm not a girl so i would never understand that but ladies y'all y'all be acting like y'all friends is somebody y'all fucking on like or you 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 in, like i said you in a relationship with that motherfucker like why is there so much emotion in this goddamn relationship like literally it'll be a situation and, and y'all all seen it like it's it's, vi it's viral now on tiktok twitter whatever you want to whatever you want to look at where a woman a girl to be one girl that's single and one girl with a boyfriend and then the, the girl that's single she like she want to go out she want to party she want to this and the third and the girl with the boyfriend is like shit i'm trying to stay in here with my man i ain't gonna lie i don't even feel like going out and then the girl that's single mad as fuck like yo listen at the end of the day it is what it is dog like i mean i get it if that's like your only friend you only got one friend that's the only friend you go out with and she she turns your head down but if y'all friends that's not gonna bother you you know what i'm saying i get it now if it's over and over and over and over and over again i get why you could be upset but why are you so upset to where you calling this girl out on social media and doing all this extra shit that's not your friend then you know what i mean if she's doing it over and over and over and over and over again then you had that conversation with her and you say girl look i be wanting to hang out with you i know you be with your man and stuff but could you come out with me at least one weekend like can, can we just plan one weekend you know what i mean we had that y'all had that conversation y'all go out that one weekend you enjoy yourself and you keep it pushing you go have another one hey girl this was fun let's do the same thing next weekend oh no i can't do that with my man okay bet will you get back to me when you got some free time, let me know. That don't mean I'm going to stop talking to you. That don't mean I'm going to stop texting you or can't FaceTime you, girl. This, that, and that, yada, yada. No, that's all that petty shit. Y'all are friends. Focus on that. Y'all are friends. Why is it such a problem that she want to be with a man? You know what I mean? Like, y'all be doing way too much. And then this whole going on trip shit, everybody want to hop on the trend of, oh, I went on a trip to Jamaica and this girl came with $150. First of all, yeah, she out of pocket for coming to Jamaica with $150. You out of pocket going anywhere with just $150. If we being good, keep it a buck. You can't, that nigga, $150, you, you spend that in one night to a fucking goddamn restaurant with your friends. That's it. I'm talking about that food. You know what I mean? You might get an appetizer. You get the motherfucking entree. You probably ain't getting dessert. Motherfuckers don't really get dessert no more. But if you a big back like that, you might as well get a dessert. You know what I mean? Big backs united. Me too. I'm in that, I'm in that club. And then, talking about drinks and shit, most fucking restaurants are 10, 15, 20, just for a little ad drink with this half of this motherfucking mound of shot in that shit. And they, like, you know what I mean? Like, $150 is crazy. But you know what's crazier? The fact that you own motherfucking social media blasting her shit on me. That shit have never happened with a group of niggas. Never. I done been on a trip with a nigga, right? This nigga... Got his whole way to the trip paid by another female he was fucking with. He was back in the whole days. He was fucking with another female. Fucking with two, actually. And they both sent basically half of what it was for him to go on the trip. He got on the trip, didn't have a dime to spend. And guess the fuck what? The nigga had a blast, dog. Had the time of his life on the trip. Want to know why? Because he had niggas like me in his corner that wasn't finna let this nigga just go without nothing. And I don't, I ain't trying to brag. I'm not saying I'm the best friend in the world or none of that shit. That's just how dudes do it. We're going to be on your ass. We're going to be like, bro, you dead ass wrong for coming down this bitch with no money, bro. Like, dead ass. We will, don't dead ass. We will join your shit. Like, for real, we'll flank. We'll fire your ass up. Literally, you'll be the joke of the chat. It broke ass nigga, lame man nigga, all that shit. But you heard what I said? The chat. And that's where it stays. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, even now, I'm telling y'all this story, but I'm telling y'all this story to make a point, and y'all will never know who that person is. I'm not just going to blast a nigga. I'm not even blasting him. I'm just making an example. Like, yo, nigga came and had a blast. We're going to blast your shit in the motherfucking chat. We're going to flame your shit. We're going to tell you ain't shit. You lame in hell. And then right after that, we're going to be like, hey, shit, y'all boys trying to go get something to eat? And guess who going to be eating with us? That nigga. And y'all boys trying to go to this party? Guess who getting in the party with us? And getting to the skip line? This nigga. Like, it's not... Like, we don't have to... Like, why, why? Like, come on, bro. That's what friendship is about. That's what I thought it was about, at least. Y'all can tell me I'm wrong. I ain't saying friendship is about finding somebody that can pay your way. No, I'm saying friendship is about caring for somebody deeper than fucking monetary value issues and shit like that. I get it. If you go on 10 trips and all 10 trips, you can sponsor this one friend. At some point, you like, all right, bet, yo... You got to, you know what I mean? But that's what makes you a friend. Because you're supposed to be able to pull them up on their shit and be like, yo, you, you need to stop going on these trips. I ain't going to stop being your friend, but you need to stop going on these trips and you need to get to work. You need to find something else. Whatever job you got right now ain't working for you because you, you ain't never got no money in your pocket. And as a friend, you should be able to have that conversation. And they understand, you know what? I appreciate you for pulling me up on my shit. I'm going to get my shit together. And the next time you see me, we're going to be going to Cabo and I'm going to buy you a shot. I'm going to buy you, you know what I mean? Like... I feel like that's what the difference is. I don't want it to be like you are doing stuff like that for, like again, like I said, doing stuff like that for recognition or y'all got there going out. They be like, "Girl, I ain't got it." You like, "Shit, girl, whatever." Here you go, a little twenty-five, a little fifty, whatever. Y'all going into the club. Here you go. This then the third, and then you coming back two weeks later. Hey, girl, remember that fifty? I I loaned you. If that's how you is, then that's how you is. And I'm not going to call you a fake friend. But that's not how my friendship works. If I loan you 50, I'm not asking for that shit back, for real. If you pay it back, you pay it back. But I'm not loaning you 50 to be like, hey, bro, you remember that 50? I, I'm not I'm not doing that. Now, if you come to me and you ask me and you be like, hey, bro, I need to borrow like $150. Until such and such, such and such. I'm going to send you that 150. I'm going to send you that 150. Cool. Especially if I got it. If I got it, here go 200. He go 250 for real. If I really got it, if I got it, you know what I mean. But if I'm if I'm hurting too, I'd be like bro, I might I might be only able to get you 50. I might be able to get you 75. I'm gonna help you get the rest though. I may be like, hold up, I I, I got this. I got the 75. But let me help, hit him my homeboy. Let me see if he'll, you know what I mean. And my homeboy nine times nine times out of ten is your homeboy too, cause we cool like that. So we all, hey bro, I need that 150 to cover the rent. Hey, say less. Here you go. We're not gonna let that roof get up from over your, over top of your head. In that situation, that's a conversation before we even give you the money. Yeah, I need to borrow this 150 for the rent, bro. I'll give it back to you, such and such, such. That's when, like, all right. And I'm not even going, if you say, I'm going to get, it's, it's Monday. You say, I'm going to give it back to you on Friday. Cool. Bro, I'm not even going, I ain't even going to talk to you to the next Friday. The next Friday. I'll be like, hey, bro. Did you ever, you know what I mean? You got you got that shit, you know, got that situation handled and everything. You be like, oh yeah, bet, 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 bet. My bad. I right, here you go 150. You pay it. I'm you're my friend, bro. I'm not pestering you. I'm not on your back. Like, you got it. You got it. It's cool. But a little something here and there, a little 50 ball, a little get something to eat at the at the, at the club, a little get a drink at the club, a little sponsor a bottle. We finna head to a kickback together. You you ain't you pulling up empty handed because you ain't got nothing with you. Don't worry about it. Here you go, here, here a little bottle of Terramana, a little something. A little something, you know what I mean? Like shit like that. That's just what niggas do for each other. And I I don't see that same thing in a lot of female friendships. I ain't saying I don't see it in any, because I do see it in some, but I don't see it in a lot. And again, like I said, I think that is the reason why it seems that male friendships last longer than ladies and the last question for the day i'm gonna leave it at that i think that was four questions you gotta excuse me i'm drunk i'm not even sure for real at this point i've been taking shots off camera make sure look hey y'all should have been taking a shot every time i took a breath uh every time that i looked up into the camera every time that you heard my voice on the goddamn spotify unless you're driving unless you are driving you better sit your ass at that red light and take that motherfucking shot then when it turned green get the fuck on i'm just playing <laughs> but the last uh question of the day uh i'm gonna just do a little smooth little quick one to, to wrap it up because i, I want to make sure that we get you guys out of here quickly um so the last question of the day somebody asks when are we getting the guys versus girls talk and the answer to that is whenever y'all want it y'all gotta let me know I always be asking people who want to be in it, and everybody be like, oh, I want to be in it, this, and the third, yada, yada, yada. But it be so hard to get a whole bunch of people on one accord to really, like, record some shit. 
So y'all let me know when y'all want to see that. And y'all also got to send me questions to be asked and answered in that video. Because if there ain't no questions that's asked, I'll come, I can come up with questions on my own. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty creative. I can come up with questions on my own. But the whole purpose of this is to get y'all involved and to make sure that y'all can ask whatever questions y'all got. So that basically we answering questions that y'all want to see. You're going to come in. You're going to tune in. You're going to fuck with your boy. So y'all let me know what y'all want to see, when y'all want to see it. And whoever wants to be in the guys versus girls talk, ladies, gentlemen, y'all hit me up. You already know what my socials is. Come on to Instagram. Goddamn, come into the DM. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not going to bite. Just say, hey, I want to be in the next video, guys versus girls. Just let me know. I got you. No, it's five shots to be in the video. As soon as the video starts, we all going to be on shot six, toasting up in the front of the camera. We already had five before. So if you can't drink, and you're a lightweight and you don't know how to speak when the liquor starts speaking to you, you ain't getting in. I'm just playing, I'm fucking with y'all. But nah, for real, the guy versus girls talk, I really, honestly, I've been wanting to do that for such a long time. Um, and and I definitely, I definitely, like I said, I need a, I need a, first of all, I need, I need a space to do it. I know that there's a lot of studios in Atlanta that I can goddamn go and rent out and, and film in and shit like that, but. Nigga, it's it's expensive out here, bro. Like, nigga, to breathe is expensive. Like, man, for, to to like, nigga, what? Like this right now, this little shit I got set up right here. Y'all see my little Baltimore poster and shit like that. Like, I show you, I might show y'all another little something, something in the, in the vlog or whatever. But like, this shit, you know what I mean? Took me a little second. So, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. I, I'm down for anything, and I'm also I'm down for any collabs. Any videos y'all want to see, any video ideas, any skits y'all want me to do, any topic you want me to talk about. Like, I'm telling you, I'm missed out of pocket. I'm no hoes barred. I'm going to be drunk. So, you know, you're going to be getting the honest truth from me. I'm going to just be, I'm be just letting this shit slip. Y'all see, I didn't mispronounce like 20 words during this motherfucking shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, none of my videos be monetized because I cuss too damn much. I'm sorry if you're listening to, in, in, to anybody who you that's ex too young to be listening to me because I apologize. I do love you. But that's just how I talk. So everybody take that shot. Here you go. But now nah, for real, like I said before, I'm down for any collabs. I'm down for any ideas that you guys have. Please leave those in the comments below. If you're on Spotify, please check out my YouTube page at Mr. Out of Pocket. If you're on YouTube, please check out my Spotify page. Get those listens up. And follow me on all social media at L-I-L-R-O-D-B. I appreciate each and everybody that tuned into this, listened to this, and the people that send in these questions. Please keep sending in those questions so that I can keep making this good content for you guys. If you have any suggestions, please drop them. Any positive, negative feedback, I don't care. I take it all. I love it all. I accept it all. Um, and anything else that y'all got to say to me, come on, I'm an open book. Whatever you want to know, I'll let you know. And again, you already know what the fuck going on. It's your boy, Mr. Out of Pocket, the best host. Hostess with the most, this nasty. I think I need I need a new I need a new saying. Can y'all help me out with a saying? I need y'all to help me out. I ain't gonna. Sh I'm not gonna lie. I like that one that I said in the beginning. That shit was a bar. I said, if you ain't got no liquor in your hand, then nigga, you ain't a fan or something like that. I don't know what the fuck. That shit sounded smooth as shit to me, but hold up, boy. But again, again, like I said, it's your hostess with the most. It's Mr. Out of Motherfucking Pocket here again. Thank you guys again for tuning in to another video slash podcast for another episode of God Talk. God Talk episode three, second episode that's being posted on Spotify. You know, already know to find me on all of those social medias. And shout out to you guys for being on my back. Shout out to you guys for still tuning in. I appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video if you are on YouTube. Share this with your friends. If you're on Spotify and YouTube, share every link. All the videos before this, all the, well, the two podcasts before this, and I promise you guys, I promise you guys, as I do in every video, I'm trying, I'm trying my best to be consistent. Just, just bear with me as you guys have been already. I appreciate you guys. Just boy missed out of pocket. You. Yeah.